Mr. Perky here to review another movie by Apprehensive Films. Uh, I actually reviewed the second one. I now watched the third one. I had never seen the first one, so. But then again, the Crippled Masters films just star the same two actors, two crippled guys, one no arms, one no legs, and they do kung fu. Really no continuing plot or continuation of the plot. This one, these two play brothers, and uh, they live in the country, and uh, they get kind of a culture shock when they decide to move to the city, and everyone finds them funny. And uh, they move to the city to try to find a job. Uh, the brother with uh, no arms, he's the older brother, he has no luck finding work. The brother with no legs finds as an apprentice at a wood carving place. Basically, they're struggling to survive, and uh, on top of that, the brother with no legs wants to become a mixed martial artist. That is his dream. Uh, that puts a barrier between the brothers, and they argue a lot and fight and do all sorts of silly stuff. The apartment complex they live in is filled with a whole bunch of ridiculous-ass tenants. Everyone's dubbed in this movie, too. Remind you, they're uh, from Taiwan. Uh, well, that's what I think the film is. So, basically, you see all these Taiwanese people speaking with really stupid, over-the-top accents. Some are even British. There's British accents. They're all over the top, and I have a uh, suspicion that they're not really saying what the dub version says. Anyways, it causes uh, a lot of hilarity that's probably not supposed to be there. Anyways, uh, they have a, the one guy with no arms has a run-in with some gangsters when he's trying to make money doing a little sideshow thing. And uh, that's when the action scenes come into play. There's also... I promised I won't punch it out. Yeah! <laughs> Kumite with the one brother in a mixed martial arts tournament. Those are the only action scenes. The rest of it kind of plays as like a kind of little sad drama that kind of uh, places, uh, tries to give you uh, life lessons. Uh, the life lessons come at the end and they come fast throughout, throughout the movie, but basically they have to tell you the life lessons at the end that says, treat people with respect. Crippled people can make a difference. Don't be greedy with your money. They basically come out and say them back to back to back to tie this little movie up at the end. And it's like, are you serious? But it's very funny. Uh, the worst that this movie could do to you is uh, make you laugh a couple times. It's fun. It uh, has some cool dramatic scenes and some decent action scenes. Uh, the DVD also comes with a little bonus short, Farewell to Arms, which is Farewell to Arm, which is a take on the... Uh, Ernest Hemingway book, as it shows in the short. Basically, a father yelling at his son to arm wrestle him. And when he finally does, he rips his own dad's arm off. It's really funny. It's well made. It's really short. It's worth your time. Uh, Crippled Masters 3, uh, it's probably as good as the second one in a different way. Not as action-packed, but the drama's there. And uh, it's a little bit faster paced, I think, and uh, easier to watch. I'd recommend this one just for uh, exploitation fans of just, like, not complete gore or anything like that. This is probably a PG movie, but it's just the audacity of these two crippled masters, and they exploited them. And then during the movie, they're kind of having these lessons about life and all sorts of stuff like that. It's just got to be seen to be believed. Also, I must mention that uh, as these brothers are making a hard living working, they're completely loyal, great people. There's another pair of brothers in here who have no problems with them, except that they're kind of greedy jerks trying to get rich fast. That's kind of like the opposite. They're kind of polar opposites throughout the film. But uh, that's Crippled Masters 3. Uh, has some comedy, has some drama, has some action, has a lot of silliness, has a soundtrack that sounds like it might have been taken from a spaghetti western. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye. That's tremendous, huh? Good on that bike. He goes good on that, huh? That's tremendous. Yeah, tremendous.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? The show will continue. Hey, it's a whip and a top. Yeah. Must be some kind of juggling trick he's got with that, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. is approaching from the north northeast two hours ago the storm center was situated a hundred miles off the coast of okinawa it was traveling uh, at a speed of 80 miles my an dear, hour i fear this typhoon is going to do some damage to the house we better tell the tenants uh, to prepare for the typhoon and put shutters up oh don't worry a typhoon's never hit us before 